Here we have chain link symbol LINK versus the dollar. I'd like to do a general overview on this one because it's been one of the more interesting charts, especially in the last uh, two to three weeks here, kind of playing off the lows, confirming weekly hit and bullish advertence, and also working its way up towards our $30 targets from last week. So with that said, do we look for continuation from here? Actually, uh, in my opinion, yes. <laughs> in my opinion, yes. I do, I do see that there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of very interesting things going on right here. Where's your next daily level, to be fair? next daily level and probably an implied pullback somewhere just below $31. Please, please do understand that, that, uh, that pullback from that region. I'm just looking for a higher low after that higher low presumably could come anywhere around. Let's just see, uh, anywhere between about 25 to 26 and a quarter. Um, it, it would be fair game. And I'm generally going to be long-term bullish on this one, uh, with the assumption that this is actually setting in a macro base right here, as long as you're below or sorry, not below, but as long as you're above 23 and a half on a daily closing basis until then you actually have a crown cross example of about to happen right here. Now, here's the thing. I do not look at that one as playable. What I want to see is I want to see something like this, where at first it pops up, kind of plays out that move, contracts back, sets in a higher low somewhere around these two levels right here. That would be the major area to be aware of, at least in my opinion, and very likely does set up for a move somewhere around your $33.5 region. Uh, long term, I would call this I would call this a macro accumulation confirmed with major targets back up towards probably $50 plus, you know, we're talking like long-term, you know, weeks, or not weeks, but months down the road, probably. Uh, if you do close a weekly dildo above your range highs, which right now is about 33.60. If you're using a daily, um, I do think you could use a daily, but I need to see a closure of about 35, let's just call it $36. If one of those two things happens, I would start to really extend targets on the macro scale back around pretty much your all-time highs and look for a continuation from there. I think that this, this chart is actually one of the more comforting charts in cryptocurrency land. It does look to me like the correction is very likely over on this one i imagine that um momentum officers are probably shaping up to uh to be the same as well let's just double check here let's go over to a daily maybe and daily remains with upside posturing as long as we're above 26 dollars. so again i do think that the short term uh rally continues uh, alongside bitcoin probably bouncing five day is by the way freshly turning up above 1920 and weekly is also freshly turning uh turning up rejecting the bearish controls and above 20 dollars. so this is this is looking good um and i do expect that this one does continue from here with those targets in mind and to be quite honest with you i actually do think that this is your next macro low uh just put it to just put it very 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 bluntly short-term time frames are continuation as well so everything's pointed towards at least one more drive higher very likely a pullback from there i'm just looking for a higher low off of that pullback i only am concerned about this one below 23 and a half and hopefully that was helpful for Chainlink, uh one of the better charts that we've certainly seen today in fact especially coming off the lows